Okay, here's the... Okay. Good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, have a Shabbos. Uh, so it's seven in the morning. 7.45. Let me lower this. Let me lower this volume. Okay. When Samach Bez Ahmed Allah. Urcha de Mosakama. Uh, what is the standard? It means if the husband and wife agree based on they want to have relations once a week, once every two weeks, in terms of her, him leaving home, what would be considered standard? The standard approach was that a person would go to the yeshiva for one month and would stay home for one month. When you were an officer in the army of David Amelech, um, they served for one month, they weren't home for one month. One month in the yeshiva and two at home. These were workers that help build the base of Mikdash. There it said one month, one month base Medrash and two months at home. Or one month working the base of Mikdash. I, Rav, Nami, my time in Omer, may I? Why did Rav learn from the same Pesuki? Shiny, being a base of Mikdash, Dev Shal Yudeh Achemi. Being a base of Mikdash can be done by other people. But something that cannot be done by other people, then you need one month, one month. It was very pleasant to work uh, in the house of David Amelech. So the, the wives were mavat to the extra month because of the benefits that they got for husbands working there as officers. When a, when a person gives a kracht, it breaks half of his body. And when you sigh, the mosnaim are like your loins. So it basically breaks you from your loins. Is that me? One, one second, everybody. Okay, let's see where we were. Yeah, that it, it, it the, a, a crack breaks your body from halfway down. whole body. They could ask you, what are you groaning about? It melts your whole heart. The rough call you dime, softens your your hands. It's the whole body. I what is Rav Yechidan? Rav Yechidan Ami Aksi B'Shiva Mosnaim. There's a pasuk about Mosnaim half your body. Ha'ida Chamaschula Mimosna Maschula. When the when the weakness of the body starts, it starts from the middle. I the Rav who learns from half the body. Nami Aksi V'Nami is Kol Leiv. The Rav will call you Daim Mechias. Kol Ruach sounds like the whole body. Shiny Shmuel the base of Mikdash at Takifa Tuva. When you hear about the destruction of the base of Mikdash, it's, it's, there's no greater thing that causes krechsing than that. How you throw a nachri dava kazibur chabadi adon? There was a Jew and a non-Jew walking on the street with each other. Lo yinsu nachri l'sagui badi Yisrael. The non-Jew couldn't keep up with the Yisrael. The Yisrael was so quick. The non-Jew reminded the Jew about the destruction of the base of Migdash. He wanted him to, he, he knew that he would have to groan. And he groaned. He, and the non-Jew thought that the Jew would slow down. The non-Jew couldn't keep up with him. 
Lava mitu anacho shavez chatsi kufa shalodom. Didn't you, didn't your chachamim say that a sigh breaks half of the body? That's some kind of new information about a tragedy that I don't know about. Aval hadishonim, but this is something that we're used to. Lo, amri inchi, the malfi tichri lo baasa. Isha halimumeres lishuk. Somebody is used to Tsaris. Somebody's used to Tsaris. They get used to it. Hatayolim Bukal Mokum. Hatayolim Bukal Yom. We said in the Mishnah, Tayolim would have relations with their wives every day. So who are these Tayolim? My Tayolim. Amar Rav B'nai Pirki. Yeshiva students. The Tamid don't have to go somewhere else. The Rebbe's in their city. They go home, they go home at night. So they have relations every night. The post uh, the wives of the never see their husbands because they're working so hard learning Torah. They're not present at night at home. And you're saying that these are the ones that are the Tayolim? <laughs> He ate from his own money, he drank from his own money, he, he, he slept in his own house. And the Gani Betula da Padna of Lachalaf Pristin de Malka Bobe, people pass even people passing his mansion would be in the shade, and the even the tax collectors. Uh it was big so the, Tax collectors would not never, never came in. They didn't bother him. Didn't bother him because he was so strong, <laughs> such a strong character. Yeah, so he has, he has no digus. He has no worries. That's a tayala. He can have relations every day. The spoiled people of Eretz Yisrael. They're tayali. And they're strong. Ravavo, when he would go to the bathhouse of the Treyavdi, he would have two servants supporting him walking here. One of the steps fell, and let's say they all fell, but Solik was it was a pillar. He climbed up and he pulled the other two out. That's how strong he was. Ravavo, showing how strong the Bnei Ertisro was. Rav Yochel was walking down the stairs. He was leaning on Ravami Ravasi. If the Chadarga Tute, the step collapsed, Solik Vaskinu, he stayed up and was able to pick them up. If he's so strong, why did he need people to lean on? He doesn't want to give out all of his strength now. I won't have anything left when I'm older. Regular workers would have relation twice a week. Only once a week. Then you could do it twice a week. If they if they work in the city, it's only once a week. Then they can go up twice a week. Once a week. The donkey drivers would have relations once a week. What's wrong then when a man makes a netter not to benefit from his wife? I mean, once a week, they're only having relations once a week. So why does he have to divorce her? It, the din is applies, he has to divorce no matter what. 
I've actually shot Chodosh in court. What about by the sailors? They would only have relations once every six months. So if he says uh, a, for a week or he makes a net, why, 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 why can't you wait six months? So you can't because ain't a dome mishesh lo pas pasilo, the mishesh lo pas pasilo. That means a person with a bread basket that's full is different than a person who has nothing in his bread basket. So the woman who knows that it's usher for him to for her to have relations because he made a nether, so she feels very bad, as opposed to if he didn't make a nether. So we we. we even to the extent that it creates a divorce. A donkey driver that would have relations once every week, but he became a, a camel driver that would only have relations once a month. Do you have to ask the wife's permission to do that? Yeah. The wife would rather have the husband home more, even if there's less parnasa. So he can't change his profession without asking his wife. The sailors would have relations once every six months. What's the news? Well, who's that? Okay. My daughter is an Adasa. Uh, okay. We don't know anything yet. That once every six Who's calling you? She doesn't know anything. Yeah. Leave their houses without permission from their wives for two or three years. It happened to Rav Adabarav that he left for two to three years. Rav Chumi was by Rav. He would come home once a year, Erev Yom Kippur. He got involved in a difficult sugya. His wife was expecting her to come, him to come home like he always does, Erev Yom Kippur. They'd have relations once a year. And she would say, Hasha Asti, Hasha Asti. The wife would say, oh, he's coming now, he's coming now. She was really anticipating. Lo asa. He didn't show up. Cholosh died to listen to this story. She was upset. Achaz dimasamena, one tear fell from her, her eye. Now the husband, Havi Yosef was sitting on a roof. If his igra the, the roof collapsed for nachnafsh and the husband got killed. So for the lack of sensitivity for not coming home on that Erev Yom Kippur, his wife dropped one tear he lost his life. Then the Gemara asks, Amos, what is the normal sexual pattern for Tamil Chachamim with their wives? They would have relations Friday night, Erev Shabbos. Like it says in Tehillim, the fruits will come at the right time. And if it could, Rashi says, Shulel Tanug. It's a night of simcha, ushvis, and rest. Anasa goof, and people have pleasure of their bodies, meaning they eat cholent, they eat a kugel, they eat a good herring, they have a nice scotch. It's a time for anasa goof, so Tashmish is part of that. What does it mean? Asher Piriu Yitain Bi Ito, Zamashamish Mi Tosum Erev Shabbos Erev Shabbos. Yehuda braid Rav Chia chastei Rav Yanaya. Yehuda, the son of Rav Chia, was the son of Rav Yanai. Have also the Yosef be beid Rav. He went to the yeshiva of Chol Bei Shimshi. Have he also the beisay. Every erev Shabbos he would come home. Have he also have a kachazik kamei amuda denura. He was such a kadosh. He he would be preceded by like a flame of fire. Rav Yana would see an Amut Shal Eish because of his Kedusha. This Yehuda braid Rav Chia. Yom Echad, Mach to say Shmaitza. One day, the Sugi got prolonged in the Yeshiva. 
and he went home and the neighbor didn't see this flame. Kivin de lochaze aus iman amrlu ravyanai kfumitos. Must be he's going to die. They said, turn over his bed. He's not going to make it. If he was alive, he wouldn't break the fact that he has to provide his wife relations every week. And since he altif satan, since he said kafu mitoso, turn over his bed. Habi kishkoga shiyotlef ne ashali benach nafshin. He died. The person he said on that he was going to die, he died. Rabbi iyasik leli brebe ravchia. Rebbe was occupied with marrying off his daughter to the family of Ravchia, or his son to the family of Ravchia. Kimada lemichtav ksuba nachnafshe de revisa. When they went to write the ksuba, the the kala died. Abi Rebbe chas v'shalom psula ika. What was she puzzle? Yisiva v'ina b'mishpachos. They 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 checked the family lineage. Rebbe also mushvatya ben Avital. Rebbe was descended from Shvatya, who was the wife of David Melech. So he was mamish in the in the lineage of David Melech. Rabbi Asi Mishimi Achi David. Rabbi came from the brother of David, Shimi. It's still a nice mishpacha, but it's not, but it's not the same mishpacha. So so Rebbe came from the Beis Hamachus. So the yichus was not appropriate. We call that study. So So he went to look for another shidduch for his son with Rav Yosi. They made an, in the Nadunya that he can go and learn in the yeshiva for 12 years. Listen to this story. So this... They, they made the shidduch. In that time, they usually wouldn't see the girl. But this time, they showed him the girl. You know what? Instead of 12 years, let's make it six years. He didn't want to wait 12 years. She was apparently a pretty girl. So initially, they had said that he would go to the yeshiva 12 years before he married her. When he saw the girl, he wanted to reduce it to six years. They again brought her in front of him. Let's, I want to marry her now. Then I'll go to Yeshiva. In some ways, though, he would have a mavu. He was embarrassed from Rebbe, his father, because he, because he saw this girl, he didn't. He couldn't wait. So the father's Rebbe said to him, "You don't have to wait." das koin HaKadosh Baruch Hu's like this. Initially, in the Az Yashir, the Shira says that the base of Yiddish is going to be built when Klai Yisrael came into Eretz Yisrael. When HaKadosh Baruch Hu came close to Klai Yisrael, he also wanted to hurry it up. And he says, I don't want to wait until you come into Eretz Yisrael. I want the Mishkan now. Okay. This, the guy went to study 12 years in the yeshiva. By the time he came back, the wife became unable to have children, maybe because of lack of having relations. Rabbi said, what should we do? If we do, if we have my son divorce this girl, Yoim Rani Azula Shab Shimra. This girl waited 12 years for what? To be divorced? Yeah. Yeah. If, my, if I allow my son to marry another wife, this is his real wife and this is his zona. So she, he davened for, the da, for this girl and she got healed. So she was able to have children. Rav Chanani ben Chachinoi came to the yeshiva at the time Rosh Hashim Yochai was getting married.
It was the end of the of the wedding festivities for Shem Ben Yochai. Amar lei Yaakov li ad the Asich Badav. So Rav Shimon asked him, wait for me until my chuppah is over and I'll come go to yeshiva with you. But lo yakfile, he didn't wait for him. He wanted to go to yeshiva right away. Ozil Yosef traced, sorry, Shani Bevei He spent 12 years in yeshiva. Ado Asi, Ishtanu Shvili de Mosul. When he came back, he couldn't recognize the, the streets. Lo yodah he didn't know how to get to his house. Also, Yosef Aguda de Nora. He went and sat like on the bank of the river. Shomalai Revusa Davakari, he heard a young girl say, Bascha Kinoi, Bascha Kinoi, Mili Koloskova Tonezo. Fill your jug and come with me. That was his daughter, Omar Shwami Noha Revisa Didon. Or, yeah, his daughter. Didn't recognize her after all those years. Ozil Basra, so he followed her home. His wife, we hadn't seen in 12 years, was sitting and, and fly, she was sieving flour to make it clean. Dalene, she dropped her eyes. Oh, he, he, he saw, she saw his hus, her husband. Her heart exploded. He died. Because he suddenly came home and surprised his wife. This poor woman who's been waiting for 12 years for her husband, this is her reward. Boy, He davened for her and he revived her, resuscitated her, she came back to life. Rabchama also went to Yeshiva for 12 years. He also, when he came back to his wife, I'm not going to do the way Ben Chakinoi did. It surprised his wife and she died. So I, Yosef Midrasha, first went to the yeshiva. Shalok Leves, he sent message home that he's home. Also, Rabbi Shai, Yosef Kamei. Rabbi Shai, his son, came, didn't recognize him, sat in front of him. Have a And Rabbi Shai asked him different halachas. He saw that this, this, uh, that the, the Rav Oshar was sharp, Cholish Daite, he was upset. Vomer Ihavi Hacha Havli Zerki Hai. Means it was his son who was giving him huge chidushin, and he said, "Oh my God, if I would have stayed and had children, I would have had kids like this as well." All of they say, so he went home. All brain. Now his son, who he didn't know it was son, walked in. Come, come, mate. The father stood up. In front of this Talmud Chacham, we thought it was a huge Talmud Chacham, but it was his son. He thought he was coming to ask Halacha. What do you mean? Does a father stand in front of his son? Right? Barbisa and Rav Chama's two generations, Rav Hashia was the third generation. Three generations. Here comes the most famous story. Rabbi Kiva, Raya de Ben Kalva Savua. Kalva Savua was a wealthy man. Rabbi Kiva was a shepherd for Kalva Savua. Chazise Barti David Sneo Miley. The daughter of Kalva Savua saw this Rabbi Kiva, that he had good qualities. He was Tsanua. If I accept Kiddushin from you, will you go to the yeshiva and study? He agreed. So it all started from the white, Rabbi Kiva started from his wife. He gave her Kiddushin secretly. And then she sent him to the yeshiva. The father heard about this and the father threw her out of the house and made a nether that she couldn't benefit a penny from him. Ozil Yosef Trey 
Sorry, Shana Bebe Rav. Rav Akiva spent 12 years in yeshiva. Ki asa isu badei treisari alfei talmidei. When he came back home, he had 12,000 students with him. Shama la usaba de karma la. Ad kama kama dabrit amenus chayim. Okay, we'll finish the story tomorrow. The story goes on quite a bit. Let's we'll finish the story tomorrow. I'll just remind everybody tomorrow that the the Navi Shear uh, will be at nine o'clock, and the Daf Yomi Shear will be at ten o'clock. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Ernie? Where are you? We're in in Modi'in. This, ah, yeah, this is Dalia, and this is Dalia, and and uh, and uh, no, Asher. Asher's apartment. Okay, in, I know. Hard. Okay. So we're staying here because with, with our machutanim, we're waiting okay. to hear news from Dalia, but we don't know whether it's going to be born heir of Shabbos. We'll make him a lava mal. It will make us Shalom Zachar, or maybe he'll be born Shabbos, and and the Shalom Zachar will be next week, maybe in Los Angeles. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Okay, what do we? I get near of Shabbos. How are you? Good. Be best, the best in Eretz Yisrael. Yeah, no worry, but it should be. I don't know. You told me maybe you're coming. It's nice. No, 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 no. I, I think he's doing. He's doing the, the office. Cannot come. Uh huh. Why well, my my office is not good enough for you? No, but yeah, you you it's very good. You right. What's that? No? Manishna, I can't hear you. I'm just actually this past this far. I don't know. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not s